Hey guys, I'm so excited. I have a special guest and we're gonna show you how to make this gorgeous Hollywood marble. Hey guys, I am so excited uh, to have this special guest today. Her name is Vamp and I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hello everybody, I'm Vamp and I'm a creative and I work with epoxy and quite a few other things. Uh, in the epoxy world, I tend to lean to darker colors and more unusual finishes and things. So and you mean you don't just do white and gray? <laughs> no, I don't. Black happens to be my favorite along with purple oh, and good. midnight blues, darker teal, dark turquoise. There we go. So I don't see enough black countertop finishes, especially. Uh, definitely Black Galaxy, which is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And uh, black marble, like with the spray, with right. the white. Yeah. But I never see more of that. Just more of that. Yeah. So and what are you going to show us? So I named this Hollywood Black Marble. All and right. it is simple. It is black base and silver veining with some bling with a little hollow. Yeah. So what we've done to this point to get the substrate ready is we actually have a piece of a countertop a countertop that was fabricated by our students. It's made out of MDF. We just cut it and made smaller pieces. So it has been rounded over on our edge, uh, a quarter inch round over, and also on the bottom edge. So what that's going to do is allow the epoxy to roll over and not build up surface tension on this edge. Then we came in and uh, we put two coats of the stone coat countertop black undercoating. Now you don't have to use the undercoating. You can use uh, a latex house paint, uh, an acrylic paint. Quite I always, use, I'm like a bare, bare fan yes, yes. So for everything. The, yeah. the bare paint we like to use because it doesn't have as, as much ammonia. So if you do use a latex paint, you need to make sure to let it off 24 gas. 24 hours. 24 hours. Um, if you use our undercoating, four hours. So, either or. All right. I don't have any idea. I've not <laughs> seen her make this yet. No. Nope. So, take it away, Miss. And it's pretty easy. Uh, so when you're doing black, you think it's just sort of plain, but there's ways to get depth. Depth is my number one yes. goal in everything that I do. I tend to do two color coats and a flood coat. Okay, cool. But I figured out a way to get depth in black. So All right. I use a black mica. Okay. Black dye. Okay. And then Color Passion has a black, okay. which is like a base cell. And you'll kind of see cells within With the, the black. Wow. So That's by mixing cool. a mica and a little shimmer in there, mm -hmm. and the dye is so pigmented, right? then with the passion selling action, just black counter, you have depth. Oh, that's cool. So what she's talking about is she's gonna be using a mica powder. We sell these on our website. We also sell the black opaque dye from Illumilite. Mm -hmm. Now, the other black that she's talking about is a product from Color Passion. I don't have them on my site yet, but go to artisttilldeath.com, use coupon code RK3, and she's got so many colors. It's like and 900 so many at yeah. this point. Beautiful yeah. colors. So uh, that's Color Passion, and it's called Passion Black, isn't it? Or Black, Black Passion. Passion. Yeah, okay. Black Passion. Perfect. All right, so here we go. So I just make a mess. Uh, I also tend to use my hands. Just I've been doing epoxy so long I can kind of feel they, like the they, thickness. They're used to seeing them. You do my your hands? hands? Okay. Right. <laughs> so I just kind of be a mess. I do the black dye first. Okay. Then put in the mica and okay. then just I'll the color this. Passion wherever. All right. Now we're doing three ounces per square foot. Yeah. That's gonna give us a nice, good depth on our piece. All right, so she's just basically randomly poured it down. Mm -hmm. Now you're going in with the mica. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
just fill in spots. There's no rhyme reason. It all gets mixed up together anyway. Alrighty. I don't like to waste anything. Now let me just point out something really quick. Even though this is a black mica powder, you mm -hmm. can see that it almost has like a gunmetal look. So just by yes. adding these two, that right there is gonna create it's, some good yeah, depth. Not a glitter, but a shimmer. A shimmer, yes. Yeah. Now this is the color this passion. This is the color passion. Black, okay. And it all ends up just getting mixed melded in. All and melded all together. melded all together. The black in this, just the base coat, mm -hmm. that's really the whole finish. Mm -hmm. Adding silver just gives it a I'm little extra. Heat this up a little bit for you. We've got it kind of cool in here with the AC, so I'm gonna kind of help her. Okay, so now you're basically just rubbing it all in. Just rubbing it all in, okay. rubbing it all together. All right. Oh yeah, that helped. And you'll see in a minute, it'll already start doing, mm, You got a hair? <laughs> there you go. It'll start doing a finish. Just on its own. Right, kind of on its own. But you are gonna take it to the next to step, To the next right? step, and then after that, I'm gonna take it to the, oh, the vamp you. and like Erica step, which is glitter. All right, so <laughs> she's gonna be pushing it to that edge, and then what she can do is walk around the front, and she'll just kind of take her hand and get that front edge. Just, you could probably reach. See, I'm so yeah. short, I can't. <laughs> I can't do that, I have to go around the front side. And then, because I just got so messy, I double glove so that I can just do this. The magic show. And now I'm clean. I'm gonna play. I can work. I'm gonna play. Yes. Oh, there's one. There's a so spot. what we're doing right now is just kind of tapping out any surface tension. All right, so what's our front edge look like? Do we need to tap it out? Well, it out? there's gonna be enough that it's gonna flow. Perfect. And so you don't really have to worry about the edges till till more the end. More the end. Yeah. Cool. Ooh, that is so pretty. Just just the okay, yes. just the black. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Just like right here. Yeah. So now we have the black and you kind of got to see. You don't think you're going to see all of this detail mm -hmm. and it's still going to start selling up and sure. doing that also. So now I just come in with the silver with a vein. Okay. Now, I just did this on a table that was a very skinny console table. Mm -hmm. And I always keep in mind where your vein goes. So let's say you're doing a kitchen countertop in place. Mm -hmm. Your kitchen counter, you know where a toaster is going to be, a microwave is mm -hmm. going to be. If you do all of your finish yep. and great detail under appliances and right. you just have blank in the front. Pro tip. Keep in mind what's going on. On your countertop. Yeah, if it's coffee table, cool. You can yeah. put it wherever. But on your countertop, in my case, it was a skinny console table. Mm -hmm. So I kept the design going vertically. Mm -hmm. Start here, Okay. put a main vein in here with silver mica. A main, yes. So that's like your focal point here. Yes. I might have something over here, but I want a little extra. Be creative, enjoy what you're doing. A hundred percent. Have fun. Be messy, play with your fingers. Yeah, absolutely. Experiment, All nice right, you, simple. You want me to torch? You could, but. You want me to get the bubbles or no? No, I'll just wait. Oh, you're gonna heat gun. Uh, Erica from Artist Till Death, and a lot of us call this the cake topper because it looks like a wedding cake. So that's now, are you using high heat? No, about medium. Yeah. Okay. So you're basically just kind of feathering it out. You don't want the harsh line. Right. Like in nature, it blurs out. Right. And remember, there is a base cell in this black mixed in in odd places, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to get some little cells popping up and it's going to open it up. Yeah. Now this little mess that people are like, what? It's going to end up being very natural. Looking. Very fun. I see what you mean about that concentrator, really concentrating that yes. air to one specific area. And That's if you cool. look at stone and veining, it isn't necessarily just sure. so sharp. Mm -hmm. it, it is a feather or a shadow look. Yeah, absolutely. So that opens that up a little bit, right? Okay. Now, aluminum, and it's by Color Passion, and it is like a mica, but it's a metal flake. Okay, And cool. what this does is 
float. All right. So I put that in the middle of this silver. Okay, cool. And then do the same yeah. kind of manipulate it through. All right, so the color passion, again, you can get that on Artist Til Til Death. Death. Yep. Oh, that's a pretty color. Always wear your hair up, everybody. <laughs> Don't <laughs> do as I do. <laughs> now I'm gonna leave some for a little later detail. Now we're going back with the heat gun. This it's, could be a finish. It 100% on its own. All on its own. All on its own. Especially, but, so you see this kind yeah, of Yeah, but you're gonna take there. it to the next level. I am. Awesome, I let's am. go. This is where I just start throwing things around. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, the right there, yeah. Yeah, that light hits just in the right spot, right? It's bright. There's no rhyme or reason. You literally can't mess this up. It sinks. You're gonna barely see it in some spots. Mm -hmm. You just mm. leave this. Okay. Any of the aluminum or silver I have left, do the same thing. And that was the, the two grays that you put on before. Yes. Okay, so we're going back with those colors. And I kind of go in the same areas. Okay. A lot of this is gonna sink, but it just adds. Just adds that. It, it gives your eye something to look at. Yes. And you always, guys, you always know that when you're doing something like this, never judge it right when you're doing it. You have to let the epoxy move. You have to let the products on the surface kind of do their thing. So 100%. we always say it looks bad before it looks good. This lady Wanda that I know loves to do this thing. I can't think <laughs> of the name. The Italian drip. I also love doing that okay, with alcohol. Good. I love dimpling around. Awesome. And remember depth. It's black. Alcohol gives you more depth. Right, exactly. So I don't necessarily go over this part, just a little bit along the black. Gotcha. In I messy, messy. Totally get it. Way. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. And by doing that, you're creating these little dimples and that later levels out, but yes. it's all, it's moved the mica powders yes. around, so yeah. It all is gonna evaporate, go away, yeah. but there will leave See? some cool effects in there. This corner could use a little, a little bit. bit. There we go. And then I'm just gonna run it until it either runs out or in. Oh, that looks so pretty through the middle. So let me ask, in your opinion, mm -hmm. what would you top coat this with, gloss or matte? Okay, so I just did my table mm -hmm. and I used the matte UTC. That mm -hmm. was the first time I used the matte. Mm -hmm. It made it look like soapstone. Yeah. It, or almost a, a leather, yeah. leather finish people are mm -hmm. doing now. That's what it looks like. Beautiful. Now, could you still see your glitter? You can still. Uh, that's that right. was the test. Yeah. The test was, do you still see the bling? 100%. Amazing. You hear that, guys? Mm -hmm. You do it correctly. You will see the metallics and the glitter. It, it's not going to hide it. And so, the depth. And the depth. You can actually, these light, faint depths that we're be able to see, you can see through the matte. Awesome. Now this would, don't get me wrong, this would I, be amazing in gloss. this was like kitchen counter, I, yes. Yeah. So gloss would yes. also be absolutely it works either way. amazing. So what she would do if this were a countertop or a table Shower or something. Any, oh gosh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but what she would do if this was going to be a piece of functional art, meaning it, she was going to actually use it as a countertop or a table, she would, we would come in, you would come in after 24 hours and she would 100%. put a flood coat, a clear flood coat. I always, like, like I said, sometimes I do two color coats mm -hmm. a lot of times and a flood. I right. will not, even my artwork gets flood coats. Yeah. It just brings it's so much depth. You bring your epoxy back up to the original state that it was, you know, meant to no be. No worries. Exactly. No worries about anything. 24 hours it will dry. Apply a flood coat. 24 hours, apply your ultimate top coat for extra durability. All right, Vamp. This is absolutely stunning. I, I love this so much. And I could I could see so many applications for this. Well, I'm glad um, I could surprise you a little bit. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. You did. Tell everybody where they can find you. I'm Haven of Vamp 
everywhere. TikTok, I have a YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. I'm everywhere. I'm not okay. on Twitter. I'm everywhere. Okay. Haven of Vamp. And if you watch our lives on mm-hmm. Tuesday night, she is one of our monitors. And I'm also a moderator for Artists Till Death. That's right. And uh, I probably answer a lot of your emails over at Artists Till Death. All right. So <laughs> that's good. So we value what she brings Thank to you. the table for us, for sure. We are going to put links in the description below for the heat gun. We'll do it for the concentrator. Mm-hmm. We'll also put it for the colors that we used and where you can get them, either on my site or Artist Till Death. We are now offering free shipping, guys, on our products. If you order over $100, we will ship it back to you free. We also do same day shipping. Uh, if you call us before noon and we've also added one other, uh, really good service. It's called route and it yes. is an extra protection for you guys. Um, if your products get lost or damaged in transit, uh, if FedEx damages them or USPS damages those products, then you will be reimbursed 100%. So you will see at checkout, there's a little line item and it says route. Now you can opt out of that with no problem, but it is there uh, for your uh, safety for your products. And most of our products can go across the U.S., and get there within two to three days. So we are super super quick, quick. super fast. Also, we have a new insiders group, RK3 Designs Epoxy Insiders. Go join that group. You'll see, she's a moderator. She also Mm -hmm. contributes quite a bit of uh, information and she does a lot of posts on there. Uh, We've got some great, great uh, members of that group that are willing to help and we would love to see you post there's in no that. There's stupid questions over no. there. Yeah, it's a great, fun pro. place. Absolutely, yes. it's a fun place. All right, Vamp. So now I'm going to put you to the test. We're going to oh. sign off. And do you remember oh, what we test. tell everybody? Oh. Don't, Don't be, be scared. scared. Move, move forward, forward and be creative. creative.